So your resume is ready. The cover letter is also ready. Now you've been shortlisted for a job opportunity. The next step is going for a group discussion. Hi, I'm Mantra from English Mitra and in this video, I'm going to give you some tips to ace your group discussion. Let's get started with the very first tip. The first tip is preparation starts way before the actual performance. It's true. You cannot prepare for a group discussion overnight. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to read more. You have to read about topics which are trending in business, in the market, in economics, all over the world. Let's move on to the second tip. The second tip is showcase your leadership traits. Once you have reached the group discussion and it is about to start, once the moderator gives you the rules of the group discussion, you must be the person to initiate the discussion. Once the topic has already been told to you, there will be a few seconds where you can think and then you must begin the topic. The third tip is don't beat around the bush, which means you must be very clear about what thought you're trying to express. Do not start if you don't know what you want to talk about. Moving on to the next tip, we have be a good listener. While you are there for the group discussion, make sure you listen to what other people are saying. When you listen, only then you will be able to add more content to the discussion. The next tip for you is use special words and phrases. Special words and phrases in the sense, if you have any facts or proper statistics, please use that. If you are not sure of the statistics, you could use words like, I think, or I think I can remember correctly, or approximately, probably. These are good words to use during a group discussion if you're not sure of the facts and figures. The next tip for you is be careful of your body language. Whenever you're sitting for a group discussion, don't lean back. Don't play with your fingers. Don't play with a pen. Don't be distracted. If people are making an eye contact with you, please respond to that eye contact. Do not be nervous. Do not show that nervousness on your face. Do not tap your feet. So what do you have to do? You need to remain calm and composed. The next tip for you is don't cocktail your ideas. Most of the time, the topics for group discussions are debatable. So what should you do? You should choose a stand and do not deviate from your stand. If you've decided to talk on a topic, please talk about that only. Moving on to the next tip is manage your tone and pitch. Do not keep your tone monotonous. Make multiple variations while you express your thought. Also, you must make sure that your pitch is perfect. You must not be too soft or you must not be too loud when you're talking to people in a group discussion. The next tip for you is be an observer. Yes, it is very important to be an observer during group discussions. You must notice people's names, what are they expressing, who is the person not talking, who is the person trying to um, intervene in the conversations. Please observe. If you want, you could also take a pen and a paper and note down some important points. Now, let us move to the pro tips. The pro tips are, while you're going to conclude the discussion, make sure you summarize all that was discussed in the group discussion. Also, another pro tip for you is, if you find there is a person who's not talking, not responding, please request that person to express their view as well. That is going to fetch you additional marks. I hope you were able to understand all these tips clearly. Please use them during group discussions. You are going to ace them. I am Mantra from English Mitra, signing off.